I got a party tomorrow night. When am I wearing a black dress? I don't got to get a spank. I don't got to get a crank. If you think that I'm going to suffer the whole night to make you think that I'm three pounds thinner, you're out of your mind. Her 200,000 Instagram followers know her as one funny Lisa Marie. But before she became an accidental internet comedian, Lisa Marie Riley from Staten Island, New York, was a court stenographer. I'm a stenographer. I say That's this with all forever. due respect, but I cannot imagine you having to be quiet. I wasn't. I never was. I never <laughs> was. I never was. I was always doing 10,000 things. I was always most annoying, but I was good at what I did. That much I can say. But when her husband, David Riley, was diagnosed with cancer in 2019, Lisa had to take a leave of absence to help take care of him. She took to Instagram as an outlet. $27.14 later, I got the early bird special. How much is the late crow? I want the late crow. And her first post was on his first day of chemotherapy. I was always in the car because we were outside of chemo, and it just became a thing. And it made time pass much easier. You know, listen to me, behind the screen, everybody's got something going on, no matter what it is. Good stuff, bad stuff, tragic stuff, unfortunately. But I made all these friends where we came to a place where we could all just laugh about nothing. Nobody commits more crimes and breaks more rules than a mother in a school pickup line. I don't want to hear it. Stop. While Lisa was busy caring for her husband and children, she kept the world laughing with a following that includes celebs like Megan Trainer and Ross Matthews. Hell hath no fury like a class mom text, okay? This text is lit all night long. If you ever need anybody to talk to, ask what shirt we gotta wear the next day because this text is lit all night long. And so you call your fans, the people, I don't your do followers. The fans. I don't have fans, they're my friends. I got an invitation in the mail. Pick what you're gonna eat. I don't know what I'm going to eat tonight. I got to tell you in June of 2026 if I'm going to want salmon or chicken. <laughs> I don't know what I wanted that night. It was her friends who kept her strong during her darkest hours. Let's talk a little bit about your husband. Describe him for me. Wonderful man. Uh, great dad. He took a big piece of everybody's heart. This past spring, her husband lost his battle to cancer at the age of 40. In my experience, it's almost impossible to quantify the helplessness you feel as the spouse and like it seems like you did so much for your family and for him. He did more for us. He did. And you fought through laughter. We did. I found for myself a healthy vice. It's healthy. I wasn't hurting anybody. It was a beautiful distraction. You can't live in it all the time because it'll eat you up alive. This single parent finds herself embarking on a whole new career, stand-up comedy, grown out of her popular Instagram account. Listen to me, how I ended up here, I have no idea. None. I am not a comedian. I don't know what I am, but there are no refunds, so you're stuck here. <laughs> I got back on for a number of reasons. There's a paycheck that comes out of every one of these shows. <laughs> There's a reality to that. A you're now a single mom. Yes. I come to see all my friends. These people have been there for me. They don't even know me. That's what they are. They've been through there with me, through the good, the bad, the ugly. It's part of the healing process. Yeah. She hits the nail on the head for everything that she says, and she just puts light into my life. You know when you're on the weekend and you feel like motivated to do something? <laughs> I joined the gym online. I forgot that I joined the gym online. We've got somebody else who wants to say hello. Hold on. Oh. Hi, Lisa Marie, it's Fortune Feimster, uh, and I know that you've gotten into stand-up, and I, I uh, love that you're out there just uh, I love her. making people laugh and filling the world with positivity. I oh know my you've gosh. been going through a lot, um, so I really admire you for what you've done. Oh my gosh, I think that that is so wonderful. Thank you so much. Well, you That's know so what? Amazing. This is even more amazing. They want you to open for her. No way! Are you <laughs> kidding me? <Yeah. gasps> Oh my god, that's crazy! Right? Yeah? It's your time. Oh my god, that's insane! <laughs> oh, how awesome wow. is she? She's the name to remember, Lisa Marie Riley. Yeah. She's incredible. I feel like she's a dear friend now. Oh, uh, so wait, so now she was playing in these small venues <laughs> and now she is going to open yes. for this yes. famous yes. comedian. This is cool. I've been following her for like the last couple of years yeah. on Instagram and she just would she just would make me laugh about just the everyday things. Yeah. And it's always it's like clean humor, it's funny, your your kids can watch it, and it's hysterical. Yeah, well I feel like humor helps. Yeah. And this is the perfect Oh my god, I love her. I'm gonna start following her. <laughs> me too. All right. Does that mean we have to get TikTok? 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> if you or someone you know is navigating the challenges in life in a remarkable way, we want to hear about it. We want to share your story. Join us at hodaandjenna.com and hit the connect button. Karen, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Love you. Love you. Love you.